Hello, hello. I hope you hear me and see me well. I am Ashka Colton, the dating detox expert, and I work with single women who are smart and successful, but also frustrated with dating and struggling to find the right kind of man for themselves. And I help them to love and value themselves more so they stop making the same mistakes in love and they start making more empowered romantic choices and attract true love. And uh, the title of this live stream is uh, How Single Women Give Up on Themselves. And recently I've been promoting my uh, brand new amazing course from self-love to true love because I believe the self-love is the foundation of your future relationship, of uh, your happiness in it and how you show up in dating and what kind of men you attract. So I really take my clients a step back from being stuck on a dating treadmill to reconnecting with themselves, to starting to love and value themselves first, to honoring themselves. And then from this space, when they feel full, when their cup is full, when they uh, have looked after themselves to the point that they feel amazing, they don't feel like they need anybody, they want a relationship, but they're not desperate to have it. Then they start dating again and they achieve different results usually meeting different type of guys, high quality guys, high, uh, guys who are ready to commit and are looking for relationships as well. And so as I've been promoting my, uh, my course, I've been talking to lots of single women and it's always like that, you know, uh, they get excited about my free challenge and my recent challenge was romancing yourself, which was uh, essentially about loving yourself more. There's lots of buzz around it and they love the work, they want to do more and then the moment comes when I offer the course, they have to invest a little bit and they just back off. And I hear the excuses like, mm, not the right time right now, or I'm not ready to commit because I've got so much going on, or out of my budget, even though the course is only a few hundred bucks and there's a payment plan. And I priced it at the point that, in my opinion, even a woman with an average salary can make that investment because I want many women to do that work because I know how much it has changed my love life. I wouldn't be in a happy and healthy relationship with my amazing guy and with a toddler by now if I hadn't done the inner work on self-worth, self-love and uh, my personal happiness. I needed to take more, uh, more responsibility for my own happiness and stop relying on men to make me happy or my relationships to make me happy. Uh, so single women just come to a point where they can actually step up and create the change, create the transformation and they just believe all sorts of excuses because it is scary, because uh, maybe they are afraid uh, they might not do the work or perhaps some of them don't see the value in what I offer, but these are probably not the ladies I can help and I can work with. So it's interesting to see this trend of like you almost hand the solution to these ladies and they are like, no, thank you, you know, I would rather not do the work and I would rather stay committed to my drama in my love life and to the current version of me rather than go for it and I also get women like that who just see my courses and they're like I've been waiting for this course forever and I'm so keen and here are my savings my credit card even though I don't expect my clients to do that even though I do that <laughs> but not everyone has got the same beliefs and and you can see Two, type of we two types of women, women who are just ready to do the work and are so keen to step up to create the next level of life in their lives. And women who are like, I want it, but I'm not ready to make that change. I want it, but I'm not ready to make that investment. I want it, but um, I can't commit for 100 different reasons who are really not that important. And 
and it 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 applies to other areas of our lives as well and not just to single women like for example looking for jobs you know women go on a few interviews and and nothing happens they don't get any job offers and they make a decision oh it's not working for me maybe it's not the right time uh i'm gonna stick to my miserable job miserable job and i'm gonna uh stay stuck in the job which doesn't pay me well enough which i don't feel appreciated in and i don't even like so it's like you know what in my past there was a year i think it was 2009 i went for 40 interviews i was just applying for all sorts of jobs there were interviews with the agencies interviews with them uh, with the big companies i i was good to the point that almost got to the third or second round of the interviews i was a serious player and a, and a strong candidate but i never get any offers it was bloody soul destroying but i kept going i kept going i kept going and i kept going and i still didn't find a job i needed to have a break but then uh I kind of relaxed and I stayed in the job, uh, but I decided to approach it differently so it didn't drain me as much and they just had haunted me. So I changed the job after a while. But what I'm trying to say, and it applies to online dating the same. How many times do I hear, oh no, no, online dating doesn't work for me. How many dates have you been on? Oh, you know, I've met three guys, but they were like losers, not the right guys. And uh, so online dating doesn't work for me. You know, if I had this approach, if I had this mentality, I would have never been in my amazing relationship right now because I met my guy online and I had been on 110 days before I uh, decided enough was enough. I was going to um, focus on myself. I needed a break. And then I kind of regrouped. I did work on self-love. I did work on my personal happiness i uh, created an amazing relationship with myself which gave me the foundation the security i was desperate looking for in a relationship so the desperation was dissolved the desperation was gone then i started to show up in dating completely differently powerfully authentically without caring whether the guy was going to like me or not without constantly uh, trying to impress them, seeking approval and being someone I thought they wanted me to be. No, I got to a stage where I felt like, you know, this is me and this is how I'm going to show up. Uh, you can like me or you can dislike me. That it's not my business, but this is who I am. And I show up in my truth authentically and it worked. Because I found love this way, rather than applying all sorts of dating tactics, uh, dating tips, dating strategies, and being someone else. So, the same with dating. I didn't give up. I had a break. And there was a period of my life, in my life, when I gave up on love as well, because it was too difficult. It wasn't working. But then you have a break and you pick yourself up and you go again with stronger determination, with stronger motivation. And through the process, you keep learning. And for example, every time I had a little crisis, I, I was asking myself, what else can I improve? Uh, what else can I change? So I did different courses. I did work with different spiritual teachers. I read books. I listened to all sorts of people who could help me with dating, with finding love, with feeling more confident. And uh, towards the end, I decided, okay, I am my own guru and I know what I need right now. I need to look after myself. And this is how I felt when I started my dating detox, uh, because I was completely burned out with all the dating efforts and not seeing results and attracting all sorts of jacks and uh, people who didn't want what I wanted. Yeah, because I was looking for a committed relationship, but I kept meeting men who wanted something casual. They didn't want to get involved. They wanted to have fun. And so we had different kind of agenda and different objectives. But what I'm trying to say, it's like the transformation or the change in your love life won't happen until you make that change. And whether that is signing up for a course uh, with a dating coach or with me, uh, investing in yourself, 
or creating space for yourself or doing the inner work, these things will take you further. These things will help you step up. And it's not like uh, just signing up for a free challenge and thinking that your life will be absolutely healed and, and, and turned around. No, the, the, the free stuff which is out there, the free advice. Hello, Leah, how are you? And the free challenges are just like showing you the direction and showing you the work, the deeper work you need to do. Uh, in a free challenge and with a, I don't know, free handout or free audio, you can only do something on the surface. You don't go deep enough into the problem. It takes much more time and much more work to actually create a proper serious transformation, not just in the love life, but in any, any area of your life. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is like, don't give up on yourself the moment you get um, a little bit scared. Like for example, the investment scares you, the work you need to do on yourself scares you because it takes commitment and you are afraid you might not find the time. No, you make the decision and you go with the decision. You commit and you make it work. You don't, you don't pull back and you sit and wait until something changes. You make the change. And when you make the change, when you invest in yourself, when you uh, do the inner work, when you do the course, you create a transformation in your life. And this is how it works. So, uh, talking about the transformation, if you are at the point, first, if you are a woman who is successful, smart, but also very frustrated with the dating, you've been stuck at it, and you've read the books, you've worked with dating coaches possibly, and nothing is happening, and you still attract the wrong kind of guys, and you still uh, keep getting hurt by them, uh, and you want to be someone somewhere else in your love life, like maybe first with dating, you want to be dating uh, powerfully, you want to have fun dating, you want to start attracting different guys, the guys who see your worth, who want to commit, who are looking for the relationship. It all starts with you. You first need to be committed to yourself, committed to your work, committed to, your, uh, to loving yourself, and you need to see your value and your worth for other people to see it too. And so if you feel like this is the right time to do the work on self-love, so you step up, you create the next level of life and you start attracting guys who are actually ready for you and ready to embrace your brilliance and your value, please PM me or check the link which I'm going to post after the live stream below to my five-week group coaching program from self-love to true love because this is essentially a course which helps single women to step up and show up differently because you will show up differently when you work on self-love. You will have stronger boundaries, you will raise your standards, you will be more selective in dating, you will say no more often, you become more assertive, you become more confident and these changes will lead you to the right kind of guys and to true love like it has happened in my life and in my, uh, in my clients' lives. Uh, so this is what I have for you and there's still an early bird prize uh, for another two or three weeks I don't remember the date but for another two or three weeks so check my website I don't have the link now I have to finish the live stream to post the link below and you are free to PM me to ask any questions. Just don't back off before you speak to me. Don't assume it's not for you, it's too expensive, you don't have the time or whatever. Just come to me and talk to me. So perhaps I'll help you step up so you can transform your love life. Hello Lorna, how are you doing? Hello Kelly. Thank you all for watching. If you happen to be single and you want to uh, transform your love life, PM me for more details. Keep well, everybody.